What's up guys, Zanza here. I wanted to take the time to take a look at Full Armored Exceed once more, now that it's out on Master Duel. First, we're gonna take a look at the TCG version of the deck. I made some changes thanks to a channel named Noah. They ended up going and making their own XYZ combos. So shout out to them and their channel for giving me the inspiration to make my own variation of their deck essentially. And I'm just gonna show you guys real life scenario type of combos. So right off the bat, my deck is gonna be a little bit different. Um, we're gonna have the standard uh, DDD lineup with all these cards like Kepler, etc. I'm gonna have two Ab Abyss Ragnarok because I think being level eight is very useful, especially if you combine it with Zero King Rage, and it can give you a lot of different combos. The main difference for my variation is actually Abyss Actor Curtain Racer. Shout out to uh, Young Churo from Discord for letting me know that this card even existed because I never really cared for the Abyss Actors. Basically, the effect is that. If you control no monsters, you can go ahead and special summon this card from the Pendulum Zone. You can only use it once per turn, but that's okay. For our reasons, we have a level 4 Fiend monsters that we can go ahead and use. This deck variation also includes Cross Sheep. Again, thanks to Noah for giving us this card that I haven't seen or even used at all in my entire career playing DDD. And of course, just to make things simple, it's just one full armor XC. You don't even need the additional spell card. Some of you guys have been asking for a 40 card DDD deck, and this is pretty much what I'm going to give you. The Master Duel version of the deck is going to be a little different, and we're going to take a look at that a little later. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys some basic combos with this deck. Combo videos are pretty great, but unfortunately, one of the things that I don't like about them is that they show you what you can do with the exact cards in your hand. In a real duel, you're not necessarily going to have those cards, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what a real hand would actually look like, and then getting off the combos that way. If you guys prefer this kind of method, or maybe you guys just prefer to have the, op the exact opening hand that you need every single time, let me know, but I think being able to adapt is a lot more important than just being able to do combos based off just the two cards that you actually need. This hand actually gives you everything you need right off the bat, so you can go ahead and just pop off in the main combo. But there are other options that you have, especially if you're afraid that your opponent may have Nibiru on the field. Just keep in mind that your options, and especially if you're playing an online game like Master Duo or even Nexus or Edo, that people are going to have those toggles. If they have a chance to respond and their chains are set to manual or auto, then you're going to see those options when the timer kind of pauses for them and you know that they have something they can activate and that they're currently waiting on. Based on that, you should definitely adapt your strategy.
If your opponent ends up setting a bunch of back row cards, of course you can go ahead and use Kali Yuga. But for the sake of winning on the next turn that we absolutely must have, I do recommend using full armored Exceed's other effect to equip an Exceed monster to Kali Yuga. In this case, we're going to go ahead and equip uh, rank 4 Caesar. That way, when you go ahead and nuke the field of Stalin Trap Guards, you can go ahead and use Caesar's effect. You can get a Dark Contract with the Gate or even a Swamp if you really need it. For this last replay for the TCG version of the deck, I wanted to show you guys that there's a different way that you can do the combo. You don't necessarily have to do the exact combo that we had before from the example from Noah. I mean, you could do that right now if you really wanted to, but this is just an alternate way of doing it too. It's the primary reason why I ended up having two Oblivion King Ragnaroks into the deck. Instead of going for Sheep, you can just go ahead and go straight into Gilgamesh. All you would need to do is just set up a scale so you can have Oblivion King and Special Summon him. And of course, use Vice King Requiem if you don't have another level 8 in the graveyard. There's also a way to do this with Thomas, especially if you draw into Full Armored XC directly. You don't have to go through these extra steps. Of course, keep in mind that you need uh, Exceed Monster on the field to even use Full Armor Exceed. That is one thing that I've really messed up in the past, so please don't make the same mistakes that I did. If you don't have another Exceed already on the field, Full Armored Exceed will not work, and then your plans are kind of go kind of go awry. Your opponent won't really be able to do anything. You don't have to do the effect in the graveyard Full Armor Exceed at all, since you don't even have anything in the graveyard. Your opponent might set cards in the back row, but you don't really need it. And if you already have Dale's Machinics on the field, you can actually end up using his effect to your advantage so you can make a large field and attack your opponent. Though keep in mind that the Bureau is a thing, so make sure you do it under, uh, you know, four max summons in that one turn. Basically, don't try to overextend. That way, you know, you don't want to be that guy, right? So just have enough on the field that you need to win the game, and that's that's it. Don't overextend. Don't try to be fancy. You know, don't do anything unnecessary. You just have to be tactical and finish the game as quickly as possible. The Master Duel deck is going to be a little bit different, mainly because of Max C. So I went ahead and made a 45 deck version of the deck. We can go ahead and remove cards like uh, Triple Tactics Talents, for example, but I just wanted to make it 45 so it can be a little bit more uh, consistent so I don't draw a lot of duplications. In this case, I ended up dropping it 
you can see from the uh, three duels that I have as an example in rank that it didn't really come in handy. But let me know what you guys think of the deck, if you guys really enjoyed it or not. In this third duel, I ended up messing up going first. I had enough, but I didn't really think I needed much because I had Maxi in the hand and I knew the opponent probably wouldn't overextend. I knew that they had something in the hand because I felt the toggle being turned on as soon as I summoned this guy, so I didn't want to do too much, but unfortunately I messed up the combo right away. I should have done more, especially if I had Thomas on the field. I should have summoned Thomas instead, but I thought that Curse King Siegfried would have been a good matchup for me. They have six cards, I max the opening turn, but they call by the grave, and that's exactly why I use Curse King Siegfried. But of course they had two called by the graves, and of course that's gonna be a bummer. But they have four cards. I have two monsters on the field, and it's Sword Soul. If you guys have been watching the channel for a long time and have seen my frustration with Sword Soul, I don't know what it is, but I can never defeat Sword Soul. I just can't for the life of me. Even you guys saw the Moha Master Duel tournament. I just ended up losing the sword, so primarily Baron de Floor, but there you have it. I ended up losing the duel, of course, because I just messed up. I didn't think my opponent would be able to OTK me, but of course, Sword Soul is always going to be that guy. But anyway, that's really it. Let me know what you guys think of the deck. I personally like it a lot more than Unchained. I'm not a big fan of Unchained at the moment, just because of the additional things that you have to add into the extra deck. At least with Armor X Seed, you really only need two, three max, and then your extra deck can be fine. But uh, anyway, 
Let me know what you guys think of the deck. If you guys like the video, go ahead and make sure you go over to Noah's YouTube channel and go into his video and send, give him a shout out, say thank you, and let him know that Master Zanza ended up uh, pointing you into his way. Anyway, take care, you guys, and have a nice day.